Hello, my name is Luis Berrocal. I'm going to be talking to you about how to use Sonal Statistics to explore your data using RGIS 10. You can follow me at, at Luis C. Berrocal, and my blog is tecnofuenteabierta.blogspot.com. To use this tutorial, you'll be needing RGIS 10, uh, ArcView, Spatial Analyst activated, and you're going to need Excel 2007 or better. And the problem, we want to find out the mean for the elevation for our land users and create a bar graph that will show our mean and 95% confidence interval for each land use. We will be assuming that our data is normally distributed, which is not necessarily true, but we'll make that assumption. Well, now the first thing we're going to do in ArcMap is going to be, we're going to open our file document, our map document. Select here. Our document is called Sonal Statistics. We do open, click open. Now this map document contains contains two themes: uh, land use, which is a polygon uh, feature class, and digital elevation model, which is a raster with the elevations. And I'm going to use our toolbox uh, inside the spatial analyst tools. We have Sonal tools, and we're going to select Sonal statistics as a table and double click on it. We're going to select as feature zone data or land use. As a zone field, we're going to use category because it's going to group it based on this field. And then we're going to select as value raster or DEM. We're going to change this to our scratch workspace. We're going to give type zone. That's data. Save. We're going to select. Uh, we're going to ignore no data, and we're going to we're going to calculate all the statistics. We're going to click on OK. Let's switch here to results. See how that's coming along. Now we can see that it's uh, already created the table here. Let's take a look at what it created. We're going to open it. As you can see, what it's done, it's created different uh, the different um, measurements or statistical measurements for the data. We have the mean, the standard deviation, the sum, variety, majority, minority, and median. Uh, we're going to use just the mean and the standard deviation. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to export this table. Right click here, then data export. You know, select a, a save the type. I'm going to use text file. We're going to use zone stats data dot csv comma separated value. This should be this should make it easy for Excel to digest it. We're going to use Excel uh, to uh, do our graphs. Do save here and do OK. We don't want to add it. Now, since I'm using Mac, I'm going to open the session of Excel and uh, open the CSV values. Well, now we're going to open our CSV data into Excel uh, to build our graph. First thing we're going to do is since this is Mac, it's a little bit different from the way you would do it in Windows. For example, here you have to do an import. We're going to select CSV file and click on import. And we're going to find our file, which is here called zone stats data CSV. And click on get data. It's delimited. And click on next. It's separated by columns. We'll click on finish. Uh, we're going to let it on A1. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the fields when we're not going to be using through these ones. Since we want a 95% confidence level, we're going to use 1.96 sigma, which is the standard deviation. So we're going to do here 196. Sigma as our title, 
and we're going to multiply this cell times 1.96. Now we're going to copy this now. Oops. Now we're ready to make our graph. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our categories and we're going to select our mean. Oops. Command, and we're going to select our mean. And now we're going to select charts, columns, uh, we're going to select cluster column. And we have here basically is R, what our mean is. But we also want to know what our standard deviation, how much this mean varies from, from how much it changes, uh, what's, what's its interval of confidence is, would be the proper uh, wording. <clears throat> now we're going to get rid of this, so we already know this is a mean. And we're going to right click in here and we're going to do format data series. And we're going to add the error bars. We're going to select both with cap and we're going to select custom in error amount. We're going to specify and we're going to select the 196 data. We're going to click here. Select this data here. We're going to click on it again. We're going to select this again for the negative value, which would be 196 sigma. And then we're going to click on OK. Okay, and now you can see the variation of the mean. For example, you can see that the mean for mature forest is around 750, but it can go, it can be between 12,000, 1,200. I'm sorry, and uh, maybe 250. So this gives us an idea of how much the data varies, and we also gives us an idea. Uh, what's the mean? For example, we can see that uh, there's a lot of mature forest uh, in, in elevations which have a mean of around 750. So we can think that uh, probably on lower plains we have a little bit less. Um, so this is pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much.